Welcome to Justice for New York. My name is Char Collins. My website is www.justicefornewyork.com. Email justicefornewyork at aol.com. I have several, I have many videos and I have several scoops dealing with corruption in New York State, especially in the judiciary. All the way from the low court, city courts, all the way up to the New York State Court of Appeals, which is the most corrupt court in the United States today, without doubt. Dealing with the Court of Appeals, there are three documents you need to look at. My jurisdictional statement, dated October 3rd, 92, which bases all my arguments. Simmons' order, dated November 24th, when he dismissed my petition stating I raised issues other than the constitutionality of state statutes, and the full court order dated, May 9, dated January 19, 93. Another issue. As of right, you have a right a, from a judgment or order of a court of, of original jurisdiction which finally determines an action or a special proceeding where the only question involved on appeal is the validity of a statutory provision of the state or of the United States under the Constitution of the state or of the United States and on any such appeal only the constitutional questions considered and determined by the court. My argument started off as I stated, I, this was in response when Judge Simmons stated I raised other issues. As I stated in my jurisdictional statement, this court has jurisdiction to hear this appeal directly from the family court pursuant to CPLR 5601-D2 as the only issues to be raised on appeal are the constitutionality of state statutes. Only issues to be raised. Appellant argues that social services law, section 111-G, is unconstitutional and that the following Family Court Act section are also unconstitutional in part or whole. 423, 428, 433, 435, 39, 49, 451, 461, 4, as they violate either the New York State Constitution or the United States Constitution or both. I probably have a record for the number of unconstitutional state statutes, and there's one more besides this. Order that the PLB and the same is hit, transferred without cause by the court to his bounty to the appellate pit. The third department upon the ground that a direct appeal does not lie when questions other than the constitutional validity of a statutory provisions are involved. New York State Constitution, they give the site and the CPLR. The only issues I had on appeal were the constitutionality of state statutes. These Democrat appointed judges lie. They're stripping everybody in this state of their constitutional rights. How many men, women, and children in New York State are illegally in jail because of a family court order? I will tell you, every single one of them have had their rights violated in one respect or another, and in, many, and in most of them, more than one reason why their rights were violated, including depriving them of competent assistance of counsel. Can you imagine in my case, I had counsel write a letter, it's on my website, telling me that raising the issues, he wasn't going to support it. Raising the issues of the right to a public trial, a jury trial. And then he had the audacity to cite one case. That I can remember I got it at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, on a, or 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday. I ran down to the law library, and didn't and he says, the Court of Appeals has ruled this to be constitutional. And I thought, no way. Well, I went down to the law library. The New York State Court of Appeals did rule it unconstitutional. But only as it applied to a foreign divorce decree. The issue was dealing with a, um, a, a judgment of divorce from Arizona or New Mexico, I don't remember, it was with one of the western states. They held that the statute was constitutional as to the foreign divorce decree. That I can buy. It was not dealing with a New York state divorce decree. So this is how attorneys lie to people. 
These are the judges, the corrupt judges. Oh, and any of them could sue me for if I'm lying. They won't, because the truth is an absolute defense to libel or slander. Acting Chief Judge Richard D. Simmons, appointed by Mario Cuomo. Judith S. K., who became Chief Judge Judith S. K., who ruled that these are not rights to a public trial, jury trial, court of proper jurisdiction, are not substantial rights in New York State. You have to look at the legal argument, and then you have to look at her ruling. Her ruling just says, no substantial constitutional question involved. So obviously she doesn't believe in the Constitution of the United States or of the... Joseph A. Bellicos, Mario Cuomo. Stuart F. Hammock, Mario Cuomo. Vito Titone, Mario. George Bundy Smith, Mario Cuomo. All Democrat appointed, all stripping us of our rights, but yet, in listening to Schumer, Cuomo, and Gillibrand, it's Kavanaugh that's taking away our rights, or is going to, because they couldn't produce one document, one court order that he made that would show that he's fixing case, that he, not fixing cases, that he was taking anybody's constitutional rights away from them. But these judges are all doing it, and they're all in New York State. I've also put up $5,000 to anyone who can tell me what other issues I raise. This is in their court order. And if you can't, you're proving to me that these judges have issued a false written certificate in violation of the law, a Class C e felony. Why are they allowed to commit felonies on the bench? Because the Democrats want them committing felonies on the bench. If you want to protect your children, your families, you need to vote Republican and get these Democrats out there and start demanding that people stand up for their rights. We need to make America great again. We need to make New York State again. I will tell you, Cuomo, Gillibrand, and Schumer, if these were illegal aliens, they'd be out there fighting tooth and nail for them. But because their families in New York State, screw them. They don't care what happens. They want people to lose their rights. That's their agenda. Make no mistake about it. You need to vote Republican. Thank you.